Will you kindly hand it over? Never, ever. Why not? It is a gift from my cousin Ben Ichiban Ben, the great samurai warrior and from so? Japan. And so this magnificent object is the synthesis of ancient knowledge and modern technology. Do you realize that over 20 different metals were involved in forging it? And for that very reason, it will suit my purposes admirably as a parabolic antenna. What if it is hit by a lightning bolt? What if an electromagnetic discharge damages it? And Since what if... when have you become a telecommunications expert? And how could a lightning bolt hit it here uh, in the desert? I will never expose this jewel to the harsh elements. Didn't you say it was made of indestructible metal? Twenty metals! Then let me have it! No, oh. never! Hey, what's going on? We could hear you guys screeching from 20 dunes away. This stubborn, pig-headed mule won't give me his frying pan, and I absolutely must ring up Daddy! It's a gift from my cousin Ben Ichiban Ben. Let's try to find a solution here. Ain't there another pan she could use? Uh, but of course! <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Huh? <laughs> that won't do at all. It's disgusting. I'm sure between the four of us, yeah. we'll find some way of making it work out. Hello? Hello? Who is it? Lord Lover Duck. Tilda, Tilda, is that you? Daddy! Daddy! Daddy, can you hear me? Barely at all. What's that? I can't hear you. I said I can barely hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Unfortunately, Eager Khan and Snartkov destroyed our tent. They're paying rent? I can't make out a thing. How could a person carry on a conversation like this? But Ali and Farhat managed to find the plant that serves as a basis for all magic potions, the Alchemilla. Alchemilla? What the devil does she have to do with this? And Miss Keyhole gave me a new koala computer. Miss Keyhole is cute, are you say? Well, perhaps more than a rattlesnake, but not by much. She turned out to be much nicer than we thought, Daddy. They're holding a chair for me at the college for whenever I want uh, it. Uh, Lord Lover, don't... What a blooming disaster. Daddy? Nothing. The line's gone dead. Thanks so much. Well, why are you looking at me? And why didn't you tell him anything of any importance, such as the new pan my cousin gave to me? You've an obsession with that pan. Hmm. He's incredible. Everything is working out for him. Not even destroying to him his tent was useful. I am beginning to think maybe this boy chick is truly the predestined one. I am huh? predestined to dominate the world. Uh, ah, Ego can, uh, master. Uh, yes, surely the world is yours. If we ever manage to stop Farhat... Do you dare doubt it? Foolish mortal! My powers are ever increasing and soon I shall be master of all I survey! I am getting a genius idea. And above all, a very sneaky, underhanded one. By all the torpedoes! Cousin Ben Pera Ben is in trouble again. We must mobilize the cousinhood. To all the dear members of the cousinhood, Cousin Ben Benaben is once again in difficulty. Oh. I repeat, all cousins are convened immediately at the usual meeting place in the Aramau Desert. Everyone must attend. This matter seems even more crucial than the last one. Pass the word by any means, wherever you are, whatever you are doing. Cousin Ben 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 has need of you and is expecting you. Yes, it does. All cousins from Ben have heard urgent message from him. In other words, urgent message from me. <laughs> we'll touch this here and this here. What are you doing? I'm going to phone my cousins and thank them for all their kindness and help. You mean you're going to risk damaging your pan? 
Well, you see, it's very important that I talk with my cousins. It was very important that I talk to my father as it's well. It's not at all the same. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, sorry, Tilda. I'm very busy right now. Would you mind connecting me to your computer? Thank you. You're becoming quite unbearable. This obsession with his cousins is going to his head. You're connected. Dial your number. <laughs> Strange. Ben phone line doesn't answer. I'll try the other cousins. No answer. Where can they all have gone? Calling us twice in just a few days is very unusual. I fear that our beloved cousin, Ben, ben, -Ben is in more serious trouble than the time before. Dearest cousins, will you give me your attention, please? Welcome, devoted cousins. I knew beyond any doubt that I could count on your cooperation this time as well. Your family feeling is most touching. All I can do is thank you and tell you you are a bunch of... Fafoof lift. Cousin, you will taste samurai steel! I wonder why I am not being scared. I would like you should meet my partner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> when your time has run out, then the bowels of the earth will welcome you happily. <laughs> In other words, as soon as all the sand is falling into lower half of our glass, said container will itself melt and you will falling into vortex of petroleum. I wouldn't moving about too much were I you. You might hasten your fall. What a wonderful frying pan. Only the great Ben Ichiban Ben could create such a wonder. These will be the best fritters of my life. Oh, what is this? Silence! Yes, they are your cousins, <gasps> and they are facing death. What do you want, cursed demon? When the hourglass of death has finished its cycle, your cousins will die. Huh? Unless, that is... Unless? Unless you bring me the crystals of the Sharaman, steal them and bring them here to Devil's Gorge, and in exchange I will huh? give you back your cousins. But don't try to trick me. Oh, Ben, that smells delicious, may oh. I? Oh. What's wrong with you? You're just growing more unbearable by the second. Eat your blitzers by yourself. Yeah, yeah. We supposed to not tape. Good, good. Now try a right hook straight to the short rib. Ah, wait again. What's the matter, kiddo? Something tells me we got problems. What's going on? It's not enough for him to be a caveman and a bully. He's become violent now. Don't tell me you're still annoyed at Ben. I only asked for a taste of a fritter and he struck me. Look. That's not like Ben at all. Perhaps he's a bit tired. That don't give him no right to whack young ladies. Don't worry, Tilda. I'll go talk to him. I'll get to the bottom of this. Ben, I've been looking for you everywhere. Is something wrong? Don't feel like talking about it? Hey, don't you recognize me? It's Farhat, your faithful friend, Farhat. And Shadow, buck up, Ben. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? We've shared the best moments of our lives together and the worst as well. We've laughed and joked and eaten out of the same bowl and now you don't even want to talk with me. You get mad at Tilda. Oh, come on, Ben. What's going on? Can I ask you a question? Of course. That time you tried to rescue your parents and it turned out to be a trap. Now, knowing that, I want to ask you if you're sorry you tried. Well, it was unquestionably a stupid mistake. But there are times when we must listen to our hearts rather than our minds. Thank you. 
Why did you ask? Ben! Ben! Are you sure Ben will betray his master and the mission for this bunch of useless mortals? In matters of devilry and worldwide catastrophe, you are being acknowledged, Master. But I am profound connoisseur of human soul, and I assure you, Ben will betray young Master in order he should save his adored bunch cousins. <laughs> How you doing, kiddo? Oh, that's a heck of a skillet you got there, good buddy. He must be a real hard shot, that cousin of yours. What's his name? Ben Ichiban Ben. Weird name, huh? He's Japanese. A great samurai. What's that? A warrior. The mightiest of warriors. Howling sandstorms. I'd love to meet him. Impossible. What a shame. I would have liked to discuss the concept of honor with him. Because, you see, honor is everything for a warrior. You want to, for instance, take me. I've done my duty for almost 900 years. And you're blind to everything mm -hmm. but duty, honor, and obedience. Well, what else can you expect from someone who is first cousin to a lobster? Howling sandstorms. Do you think it wasn't painful for me leaving my beloved master, Zenim? But I did it because it was the only way I could help Farhat carry out his mission. I was sure you would say that. The mission, <laughs> Farhat, the Shariman, but there are other things in life that are just as important. Think what you like, but just remember that for a warrior, honor is sacred and treachery is unpardonable. <gasps> and abandoning your cousins is treachery of the most heinous kind. No, no, no. leave me alone. Speak no more with anyone at all, Ben, or your useless cousins will die before the foreordained hour. Cursed demon! <clears throat> Obey no. me, foolish mortal, or you will never again uh. see your worthless cousins. Mm. Ah, this couscous is inedible. I'm sorry, while I was cooking it, my mind wandered <clears throat> onto some logarithms. And it stayed on the fire too long. Howling sandstorms. Ever since Ben stopped cooking, the local mess has become a real mess. Worse than Genghis Cohen's cooks. By the way, where is he? Over there. Hmm? Hey, Ben, for crying out loud. Ben, you want us to starve to death? Ben. Ali, leave him alone, all right? Terrible. Perhaps I was wrong to put so much mayonnaise in the couscous, was I? Ben? Would you mind leaving me alone? Oh. We'd better move. There are only two days before we pick up the sixth fragment. Ben, would you get the tent wrapped up? Ben! <sighs> if you don't feel like it, we'll do our best to fold up the tent. Oh, Ben, I have something important to tell you. Could you listen to me for a second? Don't worry, everything's just fine. If I need anything, I'll ask you for it. I'm sure, but I wasn't meaning to talk about you. Well then, about what? About Egocon. Did you mention Egocon? We're about to get another crystal, the next to last. Egocon is going to try some of his dirty tricks, oh. so I thought I would entrust the crystals to you. He's sure to try to attack me by surprise. But I don't think I should. Take them. I know you'll put them to good use. No, it's not a good idea, Farhat. I'm not the predestined one. Only you can wield them. I, I wouldn't know what to do with them. Perhaps you're right, Ben. It's my duty to defend the crystals. It's not fair to put my responsibility on your shoulders. What have I done? I have condemned my poor cousins to death. <laughs> Go, cousin Ben Hightower. You have to make it on the first try. No world 
pool is spreading and rising. I see no way of getting to the shore. Ah. This is bloody cooked. Now what? Foolish, worthless beings. Did you think you could escape? Oh. 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 That's more like it. <laughs> Enjoy your last moments. I should mix you up a potion? No, thanks. Just the same, Ali. I'll make myself a cup of chamomile tea. No accounting for taste. Whatever works. Just make sure you don't make too much noise rattle in the pots and pans or you'll wake us all up. I'll never forgive myself for this, but I have to do it. said your cousins. <laughs> Did you bring the crystals? First, free my cousins. Don't worry about your pathetic little cousins. I don't give a hoot for them now that I finally have my hands on the Sharaban. You can't expect me to trust you. Free them. Let's do a trade-off. I'll put down the cobweb sack, and you turn around and hand the crystals over to Snatch Coffee. Putting Scabbard down on ground and moving away. Yes, they are crystals of Shariman. You know that which you must now do. But of course. <laughs> Not being so downhearted, Beth. You can always come in back to work for me. Free my cousins, free them, curse At you! At last the time has come when I can do exactly as I wish. What I wish is to free myself of unwanted encumbrances. <laughs> Don't even think about it, you filth! Young Prince, what a pleasure. You've come to die. Sorry to disappoint you, but you see, I have them. I have always had them. Huh? Hmm. Not believing is bluffing. I have seen crystals with my own orchi. I have holding them in my hands. They were perfect imitations, whipped up by Ali here. Thank Ali, you. take a bow. Thank you. One in all. Snatchkov's right. It's all a bluff. Well, don't say I didn't warn you.
I say, Ali, that was splendidly done. How wonderful. Dear cousin, I was afraid I had lost you forever. Good job! Cousins! Cousins! Ask your permission to use it. Sorry. It was a master stroke. Worthy of a samurai. <laughs> now all we need is for someone to help me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Farhat. You must be overjoyed that all your cousins are safe and sane. Farhat. What is it? I don't see how I can possibly continue on the, the mission with you. Well. Huh? Are you out of your mind, Ben? Why not? I betrayed you. No, that's ridiculous. I would have done exactly the same thing. You're a very kind young prince, but I would have ruined everything. The crystals would have been destroyed all through my fault. But that's not how things turned out, though. Thanks to you. But if I had... You're no more capable of treachery than you are of lying, my friend. Do you remember when I asked you to look after the crystals for me? Yes, of course. You would have made the biggest mistake of your life. <laughs> You're wrong. I wanted to see how you'd react. Your face showed me every detail of the terrible nightmare you were living. You chose to listen with your heart, which was the only way. In this adventure, everyone helped everyone else. No one faltered even for a second, and everyone can be proud of the part he played. Thank you, Farhat. You are truly a noble and generous prince. What really matters, Ben, is that I'm your best friend. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. I just want to tell you that we're finally ready to go pick up the sixth magical crystal. What's that? You hear me perfectly? Well, all our technological telecommunications problems have been solved by a frying pan. <laughs>